Welcome MFL viewers to Too Big to Fail Financial Stadium, built on money from a loan that can't possibly be paid back. Yeah, this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The New York Tyrants go up against the Philadelphia Eagles. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? See that boo, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. <laughs> You just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. Say that again. And it's first and ten. Oh, he's gone berserk. The ball carrier better watch out because if he gets hit like brick, boom. And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Mutant bingo! All I need is 77 to bite it! First and ten. And he's running like a moose right now. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up in my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Second down and more than the QB would like. I'm a house killer with Silo. I am a hell of a fellow. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Put returners in this league have a life. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Oh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Third down and three. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now and he's gonna Oh great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a combo was at home. And it's first and ten. And then 
Jones, a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and 10. gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly and it's first and ten void rage because if you can't answer your question with violence ask another and he scores you gotta be fucking kidding me if that's a penalty they should come up here and penalize us too hey Sides to kill the ref. They say we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore. <laughs> First down in a mile. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down in a mile. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Third down and never gonna happen. He had it for a second there. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. The return man catches the ball. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just gonna pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. I call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not gonna touch that one. That's what she said. Let me tell you, getting shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shed carpet for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel, he got blown across the room into the deer antlers. And that'll be second down and four. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Third down and three. And it's first and ten. And he breaks away. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. And that'll be second and eight to go. for a couple of yards. Third down and six. Oh, that was a big hit. It 
bricks. I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Oh, with the punishing hit. Second down and six. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Now, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Oh, with a brutal hit! Second down and long. Oh, and he laterals the ball to the player behind him. Oh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And that'll bring up third and one. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. First and ten. Man, what a hit that was. And that'll be second and eight to go. down and five. Hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear to drunk, I'm not God, but seriously, stay in drugs, eat school, and don't do vegetables. Ah, Junior's having a flashback, man. What do we do? Down and talk so he out and comes up. Yeah, right. Second down and a lot. Defense is on its heels. Great run on that play. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and score. Nicely done. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Midnight, 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 the teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. And that's 
a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. Second down in a very lot. We're at the two-minute warning, and we'll take a quick timeout. Glenn, will you tell the interns to get us some Frank and dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Uh, at least they can pee for me, too. Timeouts aren't just for offense, Grim? Well, they usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. Just burn the defense pretty hard on that one. Man, it's still edible, though. Just gotta scrape off the charred parts. The defense is leaving the team with just one timeout. So they better bring the ball back gift-wrapped. Is it time for a ribbon or a ball grin? Maybe if they use their last timeout. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. Shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Oh, nice hit. Second down and ten. Supercharged with electricity. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. And the defense scrummed it out and came up. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for you know what? Never mind. Oh, he just got crushed. First and ten. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. Pow! With the brain scrambler! The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, I'm going to go with a strapeze show. Where are we going? What you Why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Yeah, Just pet your rabbit. You know now. You know what <laughs> When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Like a monkey trying to fuck her. If there were any functioning brain 
themselves before that hit. They're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing and it's first and ten he blasted and picks up seven yards right there second and three Mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. It's the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. Oh, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Oh, uh, you're telling me. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out.
Second down and more. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And that is a big gain. You know the defense wants some payback after that. Third down and three. and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a time crib. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Boat off rim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Second down and long. to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First down and five. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. First down to five. And the quarterback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. Second down in a very lot. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> He 
Hey kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses? I do. Join the MFL and try Roid Rage and have your revenge. Skid marks. And it's first and ten. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cords of the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is. Second down and two. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Once he finds his head, he'll be okay! And it's first and ten. before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. <laughs> and let the work be dirty trick. Look at him. He can go all the way. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And the defense calls a strawberry fields dirty trick. Now this takes me back to those crazy days of my youth, Bricks. <laughs> Good times. Married a little Swedish midget left in us. Now the QB is dinking and dunking the defense to sleep. <laughs> One yard on that pass. Second down and nine. That's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. Yeah, they're all in politics, apparently. Don't worry. If he shots you, the... Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over a defender, but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. He's at the ten. And he scores! He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Nah, don't call things epic, Grim. Kids aren't gonna think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. 
You don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. He refuses to go down. And it's first and ten. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the timeout during halftime. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Man, can I kill him? You've got to catch that. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. Just a shitty pass to absolutely no one. In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. That play had no chance. This baby is over, and the fat lady is singing. Speaking of fat, once I decide to burn some calories, so I set a fat kid on fire. Hey, I wonder if a fat drug dealer. Seriously, man, you think you'd go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. That kick is good! When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be brisk magic stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. That pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, no. I got the hiccups again. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and... Hey, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Prince's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. And the Philadelphia fans are not happy with the Eagles' loss. Someone's gonna die today. Yeah, forget the city of Broadway Lock. Now it's all brutal assault! They've got 99 problems, but a win ain't one of them. That's right, Grim. Just like a bridge over troubled water. Like a whole lot of Rosie. The game's most valuable player is speaking about the victory now.
Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.